Hi, welcome again to All Rounds Vending Channel. Today we are going to explain the motherboard. In order to access the motherboard, we have to open up the door. The motherboard is located at the back of this cover plate. To access to the menu, we can just insert our finger through the hole and press the button that is behind. To enter into the menu, we have to press hash and then we'll have the basic options. The first one would be fill coins. The next option, if we, want, if we want to scroll through the options, we press star. The next option would be set prices. To set up the prices into the machine, we just have to hash on that option, which is enter, and then type in the selection that we want to change. If, for example, we want to change selection 10, we just type in one zero. Currently the price is two dollars. If you want to change that price we press enter which is hash. Now we have a cursor telling us which digits are selected to be changed. We can press star twice to go to the next digit. Now that will tell us what's the price and we can modify it. If you want to change it for three dollars we just press three and then hash to save it. The same process is repeated throughout the whole machine so if you want to select any product from selection from the tray number two we can press two and whatever selection you want to choose for example 22. If you want to go through uh, another tray you can just simply type in the number of the tray and then the selection. If we want to exit from that, that option, we just press C to go back and C again to go back. We are back to the main menu. Hash, sorry, star, if we want to go to the next option. Does your single motor test? If you want to test a single motor, for example, in this case, selection 10, we just type in the number one, zero. Okay. At this point, selection 10 will start turning. We can repeat the same process which with any, any motor that we have to test. If we want to go back, we press C. If you want to go to the next option, we press star. This is your old motor test. If you want to do that, the machine will start turning every single selection in the machine. So be careful, if you have products in the machine, all the products, the first product of each selection is going to fall. Just, if you want to activate this option, we just have to press hash. Then every single motor will start turning once. To exit from this option, we press C, and then we are back again to the main menu. Now, start again if we want to keep us scrolling. This is your audit option. And then you sub menu machine setup. If you want to go into that one, we press hash. At this point, we'll find all the options. One of them is force vent. We usually tend to keep this force vent off because sometimes people get annoyed if they are forced to buy something and then not to go back. Next option is multi-vent. Again, that's up to the user, but we recommend to have it off. So one insertion of the money would be equivalent to one transaction and then the cash is going back. We have test vent. We have free vent. So be very mindful, if you have your machine on free vent, every single item is going to be for free. So before you leave your machine, make sure this option is off. If you want to edit it, we press hash, then we have the brackets around it, and again, star to change it from on to off. If we want to save, we press hash again. Now it's saved. It's free, it's not free for anybody, 
and if someone needs something from the machine they will have to pay for it another option that you find in the motherboard is your sensor mode this option is currently in home which means that every time a transaction is processed the motor will turn and then it will go back into its home position if for anything uh, a product jam or a fault in the sensors the product is not detected the, the, the machine will give another full turn to try to eject the product now if you have a problem with your sensors or your sensors are dirty you may lose twice every time a machine is giving a product if you want to edit that option you can press hash and you with this with the star button you can scroll to the next option which is drop with drop your machine will turn just a quarter of a the product. that was weird <laughs> sorry about that the drop option will turn the spiral a little bit, just a quarter of a turn, just to try to ensure that the product is not jammed. Transaction cancelled. Thank you. If you want to change that one to drop, you just press hash to enter. At this point, the motor will turn just once and then quarter of turns every time the product is not detected. All right, if we want to go back, we press C again. This is the menu we were before. We can press star to go to the next option. This will give you a summary of all the coin and cash that you have in the machine. If we want to continue scrolling through the options, we just press star. Now we have the date and the time, which you can modified at any point the next one would be messaging which can be changed from date and time or to display the temperature inside the machine next option is the lighting so you can turn the lights off for a period of time if you want to have your machine with the lights off probably in the evenings when it's not used by anyone this is the option where you can check your cooling test. You can modify the temperature of your machine at this option. This is the machine information, service call. So if something goes wrong with the machine and is not available for purchase, then you can type in your mobile number here in case they, they want to contact you. The diagnose option will tell you if there is anything wrong with the machine. Then we go back to the first option. If we want to exit from the menu, we simply have to close the machine and then it exits automatically. Once the machine is closed, remember to lock it and then everything is good to go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.